Hey, what's going on guys? Joltsdid139 here, and welcome back to another Legendary Items Guide. Today we are going to be looking at the Legendary Assault Rifle, the Kerboom. Now to get this weapon, you will need to farm Boomer over at Outland Spur. He can be farmed during the mission Nothing is Never an Option, which is gotten from Janie over at Concordia. As of right now, there are many enemies and bosses in this game that can only be killed once and only once. This is one of them. But who knows, by the time you're watching this video, Gearbox could have sent out a hotfix or patch. But if you're on PC, you can set up your save file to easily refarm these one-time enemies and bosses. There will be an annotation on the screen to how to do that, or you can check the link in the description. If you're on console, you will have to back up and reload your save each time. As soon as you get to the part of the mission where you need to clear out three waves of scavs, that is when you'll want to back up your save. You will have to fight the three waves of scavs before Boomer spawns each time since the wave number will reset to zero after you reset. It took me 31 farms before I got this. The reason for that is because this boss has terrible AI. If you don't kill him as soon as he spawns in, he will do bad things such as flying into death walls and dropping all of his loot in the void, flying out of bounds and getting stuck, and my personal favorite, not spawning at all. Yeah, it happened a couple times. Come on, really? Are we really supposed to have this much of a challenge when farming for legendaries? So make sure when he spawns in, you kill him at the right time so that his gear doesn't fall into the void. Now, the red text on the curb boom reads, Tori got smarter, boom. The special effect of this weapon is that it releases one child grenade upon impact with its target. It consumes 4 ammo per shot, which fires one rocket in a straight line. So let's talk about the good and bad of this weapon. Let's start with the good. It's a very accurate weapon. It also has really good damage. On top of that, it also has a blast radius. So if you miss your target, the rocket or child grenade can still apply splash damage to your target. So for the bad of this weapon, it has slow fire rate. I would give this weapon a spot in my inventory. There are not a lot of assault rifles that can do damage like this. Anyway, this is Jiltstude 1 through 9. If you guys want to see some more legendary item guides, then be sure to check the annotation on the screen or the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be epic, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.